All right, hello friends and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a Mardi Gras look since Mardi Gras is on January, uh, not January, we're in February, February 25th. Uh, so I want to start celebrating that because Universal has been doing their Mardi Gras parade since the first week of February. So I've just been seeing Mardi Gras everywhere. So we're gonna do a lot of purple and yellow and green and glitter because everything Mardi Gras is about. So we're going to head right into that. This might be a little long one because I feel like Mardi Gras is going to take a second, but we're going to make it a fun one. All right, so of course we're going to go in with those eyebrows first, like always. Uh, I know last time I kept the eyebrow part out of the video, so this time I'm going to put it in the video so that we can have a refresher of how I do my eyebrows. But you know what comes next? We have to conceal those eyes so that the colors we put for this eye look are popping. Uh, again, this Jeffree Star concealer is amazing. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in getting the Bloodlust palette, by the way. Speaking of Jeffree Star, I plan on trying to get it because uh, I love Jeffree Star. Uh, hence why I use his concealer every time I do my makeup. But now we're going to actually use... Mini Conspiracy and James Charles, that is a conspiracy right there, uh, palettes for this look that we're going to go for today. Uh, I'm going to take that neutral color like I normally do from that James and Mini palette and just put it all over the lid of my eyes. If I'm laughing and talking, it is because I have Stephanie on FaceTime with me. So it wasn't I was talking at the camera or talking to myself. I was actually talking to somebody. But yes, but now we're going to be using the Mini Controversy uh, palette here we are and I'm gonna use that purple there I love the colors in mini controversy and they're really cute they're you know very pigmented as you can see uh, just take some time to blend them I pack them on and then I start blending uh, just because that's the way you get the best color out of these shadows uh, with the formula that they're made with so now we're going with the James Charles mini we're gonna be using the yellow uh, I really like this yellow. It does need to be layered up because uh, yellow is such a light color. But the more you layer up this color, the more it pops. Uh, so that was really good about using that yellow. I really love it. It looks really good with the purple from the mini controversy though. And there we go, continuing to pack on that yellow. I really did enjoy using this yellow. It was very nice and... Um, you'll see throughout the video, they start to use it way more, but it's a very, very, very nice yellow. So we're going to set the face now. We're going to move on to priming my face and putting on, con uh, not concealer, foundation. Uh, I already did concealing the eyes. That's why I said concealer. But so we're going to go ahead and do that foundation after we prime the face. And of course, for foundation, we are using Fenty Foundation. That is my favorite I've been using in every video. Uh, maybe in the next one I'll use Fit Me so we can look at the difference uh, that it makes, even though I think they're fairly similar. But here we are going to go back in with that Jeffree Star Concealer. See, here's the problem. I ran out of makeup wipes, so I could not do my little sharp line that I always do. So I was just hoping that this concealer could help me make that defined line there for me. And I know you're thinking, you have no makeup remover. How are you going to get this look off? Girl, we're going to have to take a nice scrub in that shower. Uh, because I'm not going to go out looking like this right now. In my sweatpants and crop top with this extravagant look that it became. But, yep, so we're going to try to make that line as sharp as I can. Not as sharp as I normally get it when I use my makeup wipes, but, you know, it still came out pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, I added this yellow strip across my nose. We're using that to make this mask effect for Mardi Gras. Uh, so that was fun. I was doing that while I was on the phone with my mom. But I really liked that I added that because... As you'll see towards the end, it kind of pulls everything together. Uh, I'm just going to clean up that line there. And here we go. We're going to add some green. You have to add green for Mardi Gras. So I'm going to go in with that green from the James Charles Mini Palette. And we're going to go under the um, bottom lash line there. Like if you were to smoke out um, eyeshadow. So that's how we're going to do that. We're going to put it on that bottom line there 
and we're gonna have it go all the way across to still create that mask effect so that will be in the next part of the video you'll see all of that happening and the green actually worked really well it I didn't have to pack too much on of it it really came out very nicely as you can see oh why did I have to zoom in like that come on Erica but so we love the green and now we're gonna go of course into one of our frozen palettes the Anna one to get some of that glitter we love glitter especially for Mardi Gras it's all about glitter so I'm just gonna pat on that gold glitter that we got there from that Anna palette from ColourPop we all know I love the glitter from these frozen palettes uh they're so good and they're so pretty so i'm going to go ahead and put that all over my face there on the side of my face so now that we've come towards the end of the look i'm just really going to be adding glitter everywhere now to really um, enhance that uh, mardi gras feeling um, i did this in the middle to kind of resemble like a mask um, i didn't want to go too crazy though with making a mask because we'd be here forever but just connecting that there to make that mask feel and look for Mardi Gras but we're just gonna keep adding glitter up and around here I really want it to frame the eye look so we're just gonna keep going right up there we're gonna add some on this side now There you go, so now we got it all going up that way, glitter all going up this way. I'm gonna continue to pat down glitter down here in the middle. Gotta make that the most glittery part. Perfect, now I wanna do some little designs with eyeliner and stuff, uh, like white eyeliner. I'm gonna do some dots up in here and around, probably make white dots all across to continue that mask effect. All right, y'all, here we are. Like two hours later, this is done. We have glitter, we have dots. Uh, the camera's not focusing at the moment, but it's okay. I'm gonna take some pictures, put them in the video, but this was a lot of fun. So if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, please, please, please. Sorry I'm talking fast, but the camera's about to die. So I'm trying to get this all done. This is absolutely so much fun. Love Mardi Gras season and let those good times roll, people. Let them roll. So I hope you guys had fun watching this. Uh, again, please like, comment, share, subscribe, everything. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys liked this. I had so much fun and now there should be a little like compilation of pictures for you guys uh but yeah this was a lot of fun thank you guys for watching